Every time I upload a new video, I see so many comments. Quill, what are your dribble moves? Did you change your dribble moves? Quill, you should do a dribble tutorial. Well, finally, it's here. And I'm gonna be showing you way more than just the best dribble moves in this video. I'll show you guys the best dribble moves for every single one of my builds, my offensive threat, my two-way slashing playmaker, and my playmaker shot creator, because all three have different play styles, and all three have different ways to dribble. But not only will I be showing you that, I'll go in depth how to do these dribble moves. After watching this video, you guys should master all the combos that I show you. All I ask for doing all this is please drop a like on the video. Let's aim for 2,000 likes. And if you're not already, make sure to sub to the channel. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I know all these YouTubers make you guys wait till the end of the video or try and hide it in the middle of the video. This right here is the dribble moves for my offensive threat. My dribble moves for my offensive threat. This is the dribble moves for my two-way slash and playmaker. Guys, do me a favor, drop a like on the video if you haven't already for this. I know everybody makes you wait till the end, but I'm just gonna show you guys right now. First was my offensive threat. This is my two-way slash and playmaker. And lastly, this is my playmaking shot creator. I'll leave timestamps in the comments. I'll pin a comment with the timestamps of when I start the tutorial for each build. But first tutorial, is with my offensive threat. Let's get right into it. So these it. are my dribble moves for my offensive threat. As you guys can see on all my builds, I use dribble style quick. There's just no reason not to use quick. It's the best dribble style for all guard builds. Size of packages on my offensive threat and on my playmaker shot creator, you can use either Pro 6, Kyrie Irving, or Allen Iverson. Now these two, Kyrie and Allen Iverson, do the same thing. The reason I have Pro 6 on is you guys see him going back and forth with Kyrie and Allen Iverson going between your legs is faster. You guys see how they get a fast between the legs. You guys see right there. But with Pro 6, you go faster to going left and right and you can quick shot off that. And I tend to do that more than I go between the legs. So that's why I go with Pro 6. But if you go between the legs more, I would use Kyrie or Allen Iverson. They both have the same size up when you're going left to right holding turbo. You guys know the move that I like to crab people with. The rest of these are pretty self-explanatory. The only one that I feel like people would question is the moving hesitation, and there's really no need to go with anything else but Pro 3. Pro 5 and Pro 8, they don't take skill. Just use Pro 3, master that, and that's how you'll get better. And lastly on the dribble moves, Steph Curry pull up and normal 21 hop jumper. Those are the last two things that are really important. Like I said, these are the dribble moves for my offensive threat. So I know a lot of you guys are, you know, mainly use offensive threats. So this is why it's the first build I'm starting with. And you guys saw the dribble moves I'm using. So now we'll get into, you know, what some of my main moves are. I'll show you guys how to do it here. So first off, you see this possession, how it starts off with me doing the pro six size up into the momentum Steph Curry. You guys see right here, I do my pro six size up. Just very, very simple into the momentum Steph Curry between the legs. That's actually a really, really strong and fast move. Finish it with the behind the back sham god, and it's one of the shots or moves that you can get the really, really fast quick shot off of. As I show you right here, you don't have to do anything except for just run and then instantly shoot, just like off of Pro 6. And for more on the quick shot and different types of quick shots, I'll be showing you that on my play shot, which I showed, you know, at towards the end of the video after this in my two way. I'm just showing you once again how fast it really is. That literally learning that will change the game, okay? And I show you guys how to do that in this. I, I explained it at the end and in my last best dribble moves video that I'll leave in the description. I'll just title it dribble moves. And the reason that they're different is because in my last video, I showed you guys how to do these moves with a hand cam right I didn't show you guys the exact combos and all these combos that I'm doing but I show you guys how to do it with a hand cam so now is how you learn how to do the combos with them and you saw right here I'll show it again killed him with the basic one spin back it's really simple you just go between the legs and then spin back once again I show you exactly how to do that 
in my best dribble moves video with the hand cam so check that out if you want to learn how to do it but now is how to learn the combos and when to do these moves with it and you guys saw right there another really really strong one that I show you this is really really OP especially when you're isoing or using screens honestly you see right here I stop and this is when I'm holding RT and going to the right with Pro 6. I pause it to show you guys exactly when I do it. You see how fast I am as he's moving to the left? Look at how far that is. And now just imagine if you have a center sitting there holding a screen, then they get stuck on the screen and you get open. Just Pro 6 and learning how to stop and shoot and doing all that really fast will really change your game. You guys see now I have slasher takeover. So I'm just gonna, you know, do really simple dribble moves, try and get open. You see I do right there, the quick shot off the sham god once again. And the difference between this and my playmaking shot creator, because they have actually the same dribble moves, is that on my offensive threat, I ISO. On my playmaking shot creator, I use screens. So the way you dribble with both of them is different, right? Like I said, I'll leave a timestamp on my playmaking shot creator and my two-way slash and playmaker. If you guys have those builds and you want to learn my combos with those, I'll leave a timestamp on it. The two-way slash playmakers right after this. You guys see, I just do really, really simple moves. Just pro six, the fast dribble moves they can't stop it like I don't dribble I don't do a million dribble moves I just do the quick ones and now is when we get on to the two-way slash and playmaker this is different than the than my other two builds it has a unique dribbling style let me show you and this is my dribble moves on my two-way slash and playmaker you guys see everything is the same except for honestly the most important thing and that size of packages on my two-way slash and playmaker I use Steph Curry and I mean if you guys know 2k20 you guys know about the Steph Curry size that move don't worry I'll go in depth on how to use it and how to combo with it but once again Steph Curry size the package everything else is the same you guys see Steph Curry dribble pull up normal 21 hop jumper and then all these you know super fast dunks I don't really shouldn't have to spend that much time talking about my dribble moves here but yeah Steph Curry's the only different thing you guys see quick everything else is the same the dribble moves in 2k20 there's really not that many you can do but let's get into the two-way slash and playmaker and how to combo with this build so like I said, the two-way slash and playmaker has a unique dribbling style, and you guys are going to see it right here. I pretty much just go back and forth with Steph Curry. And if you want to be a good two-way slash and playmaker, this is all you need to learn how to do is go back and forth with Steph Curry because it's so fast and just dunk and get a decent jump shot. You guys see, I'll show you guys this right here. I showed you guys this in my offensive threat, a really fast move, momentum into the curry, and then you do a hesitation into the curry. You see how fast you are with 99 speed, a 92 driving dunk at six foot five. You see how fast I am. And right here, I paused it again because I wanna show you. This, instead of doing a hezzy, I just stop and do the curry. I tried doing it right there again. See, notice that I'm gonna do it right here, stop, Curry, you see him going to the right. He's not fast enough to guard that. And then the hop step, you guys know what hop steps are on the two way slash and playmaker. So the two way slash and playmaker compared to the offensive threat, compared to the playmaker shot creator, is so much different. You guys are gonna see right here. I mean, now I have takeover, so all I really do is spam snatchbacks. But all I'm doing is curry. Steph Curry size up on two way slash and playmaker is essential. It's so fast with how fast you are with Hall of Fame quick first step and 99 speed 99 speed with ball 92 driving dunk and all the dunk packages i have on make sure you guys have the same dunk packages that i showed you on this build because they're the fastest ones so you see me just even when i'm trying to spam snatchbacks over and over again i'm still doing steph curry size up right cooking him with momentum cooking him with steph curry size up, going back to back and lastly is the playmaking shot creator which has the same dribble moves in my offensive threat lastly is my playmaking shot creator and this build has the same exact dribble moves as my offensive threat the only thing that i would change on my offensive threat is maybe using Kyrie and ai but like i said i'm just used to pro six so yeah the dribble moves for this and my offensive threat are exactly the same so there's really not much i can show you for this because you already saw what they were but there's a lot different with with how you play on a play shot around screen and icing with an offensive threat and let's get right into that so now this build is where you're gonna see me really focus on doing the quick shot with down on the analog stick right you guys see me do it right there off rip i'll show you guys that in slow motion because this is really good on an offensive threat so you guys see i just run stop with down on the right analog stick and shoot 
I show you guys this in my um, in my how to be unstoppable video and my shooting secrets video this right here this part of it go to my shooting secrets video I think I uploaded it two or three weeks ago that video right there went in depth on how to shoot quickly and to be honest with you you guys are gonna see I don't even dribble that much that's my whole point about this is I barely even dribble with my playmaking shot creator all I do is run and quick shot and it is so hard to guard because this build has 96 or no 90 yeah 96 speed and then three shots I get sharp takeover and you see I can just crab them it's that easy with pro six learning how to do the quick shot and just going back and forth around screens like guys you don't have to be a good dribbler this year you see right here the quick shot off of pro six i'm gonna show you this again you just um, i start the pro six size up you see i finished pro six size up right there you take two to three steps and then you just have an open shot you don't have to do anything else except for shoot learning that on an offensive threat or this playmaking shot creator will change the way you play it will change the way you shoot I hope you guys did enjoy this video and it, you know, help you guys get better, whether it be learning new dribble combos or just having the new best dribble moves if you didn't have any of these on. If you did enjoy it, do me a favor and drop a like, sub if you're new, and I'm out.